Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. Something has been happening in our country for the past few decades. And unfortunately for the past several years now, it has been escalating downhill at a faster and faster rate. And a lot of people are wondering what's going on. What has gotten us to this state? And so I wanted to just discuss the issue of schools with you right now, because I know that there are a lot of parents out there who know that the schools are not teaching, who know that they are indoctrinating students to follow certain political views, and yet they are still keeping their children in these schools. So today what I'm going to talk to you is about this. Whoever controls the schools rules the world. All right, I have to point out that I got that title for today's video from this book by Gary DeMar, and it's called Whoever Controls the Schools Rules the World. I will not be doing a review of this book today, and I will not be specifically talking about it, but it is a fantastic read, and it's something that I recommend that, that you would get. And I will leave a link in the description box um, in case you, you did want to check it out. But in the meantime, I did want to read one quote off of the back of this book because it sums everything up when it comes to, to our government education system. The philosophy of the classroom in this generation will be the philosophy in the next generation. I'm calling a state of emergency in our school system. Yes, I know that they were designed to create obedient factory workers. I know that they were designed to indoctrinate people, students to think a certain way. I know that they were designed for social engineering. But up until this point in time, they seem to have at least a functional use in society. There did seem to be some, at least, academic merit to our educational system. But something has been happening the past couple of decades, I'm going to guess, in the school system in that they have been amping up the propaganda that is being fed to students in schools. So what is happening now, as you can see, all around us is a complete downfall of American society. Um, students today are no longer being taught the founding principles that our country was founded upon. Um, they are being taught a leftist America hating agenda. They are being taught an agenda that breeds division, that teaches victimhood and reduces debate to mere talking points. Debate used to be something that was taught in schools. Um, it's a it's a classical form of education, and it's actually a really important skill to have. You have to be able to give an answer for what you believe. You have to be able to back up your views when people um, discuss opposing views with you. Unfortunately, that is not happening in our school systems. What is happening is that students are being fed talking points, and they are being indoctrinated to believe, and this is happening a lot, that they know more than their parents. Um, it has been said a lot of parents are picking up on online schooling that teachers are making remarks to their students about that, well, I'm going to tell you this because your parents, if, if your parents think this way, I'm going to tell you the truth. So these kids are being brought up to believe that they know more than adults when in fact they are being taught leftist talking points. I have made um, a video about neuro-linguistic programming and how when you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again to people that they will start to believe it and that is exactly what is happening. So since these students are only being taught talking points, they are very, very vicious a lot of times about it. But when it comes down to it, they have no depth which, with which to back things up. But because the neuro-linguistic programming has been so effective with them, even if you come at them with facts, they will not believe it. That's why I'm calling this a complete state of emergency. They're being taught revisionist history. They're being taught history that is not true. 
they're being taught history that is more opinion than it is about actual facts. And again, I mentioned this before. They are being taught things that breed division. Right now, we are at a point in time when instead of people coming together, we are having more and more and more hatred towards one another being wedged in place. And I'm telling you, this is being um, completely laid into via the school system and the media. And again, we have the whole victimhood complex going on as well, which is what which has made it happen that when you do try to debate and when you do try to give facts to people, they shut you down right away because you might be using microaggressions or because you have offended them in some way. And what has happened now is that we are living in a society in which a great number of people don't seem to have um any skills in actually conversing with those who disagree with them. And a lot of people simply seem to have no common sense left. They only know what has been poured into them in school. That is what's happening. They're being used like an empty cup and they are having the, these, these factoids poured into them. And it's happening over and over and over again. And unfortunately, this has been going on for decades, although right now we see this going on at a fever pitch. Um, so now we have teachers in school. I, I would have to say, now I've never done a study on it or anything, but I would have to say that the majority of teachers in schools nowadays have a leftist agenda or at least have leftist views. And it's okay for a teacher to have leftist views. Absolutely, that's that's your right to feel the way that you want to. The problem is when they start bringing those views into the classrooms and start trying to influence children. A lot of these children are being raised to be um, used as child protesters. We even see some curriculums being... being um, woven into the school system now where kids are being encouraged to protest but only about certain issues that is a problem so since these kids all have these teachers who are imposing these viewpoints on them let's face it a lot of kids are with their teachers more than with more than they're with their parents it's a sad but true fact on top of that, a lot of kids really do look up to their teachers. So when their teachers tell them certain things, they're going to believe it. And since they are not taught how to actually research things, since they are not being taught how to think critically, although schools say they are teaching critical thinking, they are not. Since these students are not being taught to analyze things, they will believe anything that these teachers tell them. So then these students then go on to college where they are bombarded even more by professors who have the same agenda. These colleges then produce more teachers or more people who are out there in society influencing other people. So then we have more teachers who are, again, they're being indoctrinated to push their viewpoints on, on children, especially if they are in the educational field. Yes. They are being encouraged. I did another video where I talked about how teachers are encouraged to be agents of change or change agents. Well, what is a change agent? A change agent is an activist. Is there anything wrong with activism? No, there is nothing wrong with activism in and of itself. There is a problem, though, when you have teachers, educators, anyone in the educational field who is trying to get children to be their foot soldiers for their causes. That is what is happening. So we've had this going on for decades now, which is why we have so many teachers who have these viewpoints and who are trying to push them on children. So what's the problem with that? If we have all of these children graduating with these views, it is fundamentally changing everything about our country. They are learning things that are the complete opposite of what this country was founded upon. And you have to think about this. The fabric of the nation is woven by the school. 
What is going on in the schools is a good indicator of what is going on in society and what will be going on in society later on down the line through generations. Because again, you have generations of people being fed and at a more feverish pitch, these same viewpoints. Things are not going to get better as long as those of us who understand what is happening continue to put our children in school. Government schools will never work, whether they are being taught with leftist views or views from the right. Government schools, they just won't work because they will always have an agenda of, you guessed it, the government. This is not what education should be about. Education should be about academics. Education should be about learning facts. And unfortunately, that is not something that is going to happen as long as you have an education system that is being controlled by the people in charge. It's just not going to happen. So when I see parents on Twitter or on Instagram lamenting the state of their children's schools and complaining about the things that they're overhearing in online school or the homework that they're having to do. The fact of the matter is that they're still sending their kids back to these schools. You can complain all you want about their schoolwork or the assignments that they have or the very biased questions that they're getting. As long as you keep sending your kids back to those schools, nothing is going to change. The only thing that is going to help our society, as long as government school is even a thing, and you know, it would be my greatest hope that one day it would not be, but I don't see that happening anytime soon, even with all of these people, um, all these kids being out of school right now. The only thing that is going to help the school system though, is for um, the, the people who are in the schools, the teachers, the administration to change. How is that ever going to happen? How is it going to happen when you have all of these kids being fed the same lines? We need a mass exodus of the school system. And I know a lot of people, including myself, fear if that there will be a retaliation if so many people would take their kids out of the schools, that they would do something because, yeah, they're not going to give up this control easily. But we're at the point in time where we have got to do something. People have got to stop sacrificing their children just because they think that their kids have to be there. Your kids do not have to be in these schools. The only way that we are going to be able to bring our country back to its foundations is to pull our children out of these schools. And then maybe one day, as you give them an education, that they would then decide, you know what, I think that I'm going to get into teaching and then maybe get your kids into these schools. Or maybe not. Maybe if we have enough people who decide to finally take their kids, get your kids out of the grips of these people, we can make a fundamental change in our country and we can go back to the way that we were supposed to be. Are we ever going to go back to normal? No, I don't think so. There has been far too much damage done. But the only thing that I can hope is that if we actually strive to make a change, not just complaining about it, not just posting pictures online of your kids' homework and then sending them back to school anyway, actually doing something about it, save our country. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave it over on Instagram because YouTube disables my comments. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I hope you have a great day.